Hi there, beautiful people. I am back and this time with a fitness recipe. How about that? And um, I think you're going to love it because it, this has become one of my favorite recipes because it's fast, because it's delicious, because it's gluten-free, low-fat, high-protein. How about that? Perfect, isn't it? And nothing better to start the year with the right food and after all those heavy foods from the end of the year this one's perfect you are going to love it we're going to make a gluten-free pizza no oven required just because i love you and we're going to start by adding to a bowl oat flour oatmeal flour yes my lovelies Oh, but Chef Jana, can it be um, chickpea flour? Yes. Can it be plain flour? Yes. Any kind of flour. But this one is packed with irons and it's uh, low fat. It's gluten free, like I mentioned before. And uh, it tastes just delicious because there's this crunchiness about it. You'll see at the end. And a little bit of salt. Always season your food, all the layers, like I keep saying. And we are going to add the water little by little. It's going to be hard, so it's pretty easy to see the point here where you can where you have to stop. And then you just have to use your fingers. All right. Now we have our little ball here. And you have two choices now. You can either use a rolling pin or you can use one of those tortilla uh, press here. Right, heat on, you put your um, gluten-free pizza dough there and in medium-low heat, you let it cook for about three to five minutes. And then you flip it. And then you add your favorite toppings. In this case, I'm going to add uh, some tomato sauce we have made tomato sauce on this channel, so click on the card over there <laughs> so you learn how to make it. It's totally worth it. I make it like uh, two or three times a year and then I can them or freeze them or both because um, it's fun. I love to make it. I love a homemade tomato sauce. I love the process of making it. It brings me back very nice memories from uh, when I used to make that with my grandmother and then with my son in New York. We used to take a Sunday to do that and then can it. It was so much fun. So brings back nice memories. That's another reason to do stuff in the kitchen, isn't it? To nurture not only the body, but the souls as well. Oh, I'm poetic today, aren't I? But it's the food. This food inspires me because it's simple and delicious just the way I like it. And uh, what else? Oh, cheese. You add your favorite cheese. It is my homemade cheese. So if you want to know how I made my yellow mozzarella, click there. And then uh, remember, the, the heat is very low, okay? Very, very low. And then some tomatoes. Perfect with pizza, right? I mean, I like pizza so much, I could eat it every day for the rest of my life and I wouldn't complain. And then some oregano. And then you just cover it. And uh, I'm using a smaller lid because I want it um, all the heat to remain inside. And now we just wait for the cheese to melt. And it's going to be, I don't know, three, five minutes more. So this is actually a super, super fast. Uh, food. If you want to make the doughs, 
and um, if you want to make them the little balls and freeze it you can go for it and do it or if you want to make them flat as in a tortilla it will look like a tortilla and then you just separate them with the parchment paper in between and then put it in a plastic bag and put it in a freezer it will last for up to three months so i usually do that and uh, this is it now just i think it's hot no <laughs> just wait for the pizza to be ready And our pizza is ready. Just one more thing. Some people would add basil. I like arugula because I think that it tastes better. It's a little bit bitter and uh, gives a little bit more of freshness. And voila! This is my tip to you guys. If you want to lose weight and you want something delicious or if you want to make it for breakfast or anything, I mean really anything, this food is the kind of food that is perfect for any occasion. And you know, I can taste it. And I'm gonna tell you that it's going to be freaking awesome. A small bite, because I'm going to devour the rest of it, but later. Now just a demo. Mm. Super hot. <laughs> mm. Oh my words, this is so good, so good and it's so um, kid friendly because hello pizza who doesn't like pizza. Actually if you know somebody who doesn't like pizza, I think it's a little bit um, suspicious because mm, who doesn't. And this is it for today, I hope you have enjoyed my tip and um, healthy pizza, gluten free kind of food, I absolutely love it. And uh, I see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. I know some, sometimes you get annoyed because I say that all the time. But trust me, 66% of the people who watch this channel or any other channel are not subscribed. Why not? That's not cool. And I see you next time. Have a great week. Follow me on my social media as well. Bye-bye.